Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea and I'm the technical illustrator here at Seamwork and today I want to show you how I store my fabric. Now I've recently redone my whole sewing space so right now I'm still playing around with what I like and trying to figure out what works best for me in both a sewing and creative space so I'm still figuring it out right now. Currently, I keep my uh, new cut woven fabric in this one, new cuts of knit fabric in this one. This one has uh, bigger size scraps of um, fabric that still have, um, you know, a lot of potential, but um, I also keep big um, other pieces here, like uh, this one is like an old bed sheet. Um, so big pieces of muslin fabric go in here as well. And then in here, I have my scraps. Now inside the bins themselves, I, I don't really have a particular way that I like to fold them or anything, but I try to keep them uh, folded up like this so I can easily uh, search and find um, and see all the fabric that I currently have. Um, I may be playing around with uh, how to store these in another way sometime, but for now, um, I found that this works well for me. So right now, it's probably not the most aesthetically pleasing way to store my fabric, but it's been really efficient, so I don't really mind it too much, but I still intend to uh, play around with how I store them, and maybe I'll find a, a better method that meets both aesthetic and uh, efficiency. Uh, but for right now, having it separated into knits, wovens, uh, muslin, scraps, and then scrap scraps has worked pretty well. Now for the fabric that I plan to use next, I, I have two of them because I can't decide. <laughs> I have this beautiful sage green rib knit and um, then this kind of coppery rust color uh, rib knit, both of them being from IC Fabric. And I was thinking one of them I would make into a uh, Seamwork Orlando top or um, possibly a green style Clara wrap top. Haven't decided yet, but I think I'll be working on them pretty soon. For my favorite fabric in my collection, um, I have to go with this peach skin uh, parrot fabric that I've had now for a little while. Um, it just makes me so happy to look at it. It's just so bright and summery. Um, how can it not make you feel good? Um, and it feels good too, since it's a peach skin. Um, but I got this one locally here at Bolt. Um, I was thinking I might make a Decades of Style two-piece little summer outfit with it. Um, I'm hoping to make it finally this summer. I've been saying that for like the last couple of years, but I think this summer might be the time. <laughs> now, the fabric that I've had the longest in my collection is this really fun cotton that I got in Japan a number of years ago. Um, it's very sentimental to me. I bought it on my birthday and um, and it's just also so bright. It's it's hard to pick exactly what I'd use it for without having any regrets because it's so beautiful and it's been with me for so long. Um, I thought about maybe I'd make some accessory patterns with it um, or just a really pow dress, but um, but we'll see. Maybe it'll just stay with me uncut. I don't know. Now the fabric that I'm the most hesitant to cut into is this beautiful rust colored um, silk. I got this one here locally at Mill End and I just love it. it. It was so beautiful, I just had to buy it right away. Um, I was thinking I might use it to make an Ogden cami uh, lengthened into a dress. Um, but like with all silks, it's always so nerve wracking. So we'll see when I actually get to it. Thanks so much for joining me on this little fabric stash tour of mine. Hope you have fun. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Seamwork. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know, do you have any ideas of what I should use this fabric for? I would love to hear some suggestions. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy sewing.